So dear friends, today we'll discuss discuss three cases, different cases, but a remedy which was used same in all three cases. This remedy has a lot of aspects to learn, and that's why these all three cases are very important in practice. First case I want to share is regarding the chronic eczema. As around seven eight years daughter. she was brought to me with a infected eczema all over the body whole upper extremity and whole lower extremity it was she was having an eczema and when i observed her it was presenting a typical there is there was a tremendous thickness of the eruptions it is full of pus which is um, uh, present below the scabs and it was little bit stinking offensive and she was suffering a lot so i asked about the history and they said that doctor she was quite good around 2 3 years and some vaccine was given at that time after vaccine she started getting this eruptions and thereafter we are doing lot of lot of allopathic treatment whenever she used to take antibiotics anti allergics local ointments and th- then she used to settle for for a month or two and again it re- used to reappear again and again so they were frustrated because of lot of treatments already spent over that over her and um, she she wants the results specifically for that girl so eruptions which appears thick crusty whenever there are there is a pus inside it and which is coming out from sides sometimes or sometimes you can just observe and touch and you can feel there is a pus lot of pus collected under it remedy is always to be a mezerium my first prescription is always mezerium because this is the characteristic of the mezerium a thick yellow uh, thick scab under which the pus is collected that is mezerium <coughs> so that is one important thing was there and history the eruptions which appears because of the um, vaccination or post vaccination eczema the mezerium is one more <coughs> important remedy so i have selected mezerium and started her mezerium in lm potency and continued it for month after one follow up the eruptions totally dried completely there was no pus it was healed completely and she was quite good in looking within a span of 2 months total eruptions disappeared completely and it was look like a new skin over there so this is very important in case of mezerium that you must keep in your mind three important things eczema either because of vaccination second important eczema where the thick yellowish pus is collected under which and eczema with offensiveness over there sometimes associated with neuralgia the remedy is mezerium <coughs> second case which i want to share with you is the case of herpes zoster it is infected herpes zoster associated with the neuralgia and this infected herpes zoster was again one more important thing uh, in which again similar types of eruptions were there but they were of more of a vesicular in origin in that case associated with lot of neuralgia so she had a severe pain over there and she was suffering a lot and patient was nearly about 18 years of age and she was continuously weeping she was under allopathy treatment since week without any result and she uh, then she came for homeopathic treatment so generally what happens when we used to think about the herpes zoster we used to think about the rustox Uh, yes definitely but in rustox the eruptions are purely vesicular generally it happens to be there during damp rainy weather generally it is associated with triangular red tip tongue but in case of mezerium it is always an infected the pus you can find it out under the scabs and that is vesicular pustular eruptions are there the her, um, mezerium is the remedy and in mezerium 
this is another remedy which covers the neuralgia also it is not only the eruptions but the neuralgia is also covered under the action of mezerium so again i have selected mezerium in this case i have started with the mezerium 6 in repeated doses for 3 4 days and i have observed the patient after 4 days and total infection con- got controlled under the action of mezerium at the same time her pain settled very easily so neuralgic pain is another characteristic of the of this remedy so eruptions yes eczematous patterns associated with neuralgia think of the mezerium third important case where i used mezerium was the case of a chronic toothache and that toothache was very specific that that toothache she used to suffer always at night that is very characteristic uh pa- patient has told me one typical modality she used uh, this the, in this patient that young boy who was suffering from this toothache he show me, showed me a, an x-ray of the teeth and that teeth was looking normal externally but the root was it was necrosed in that patient he was asked to go for root canal but he was uh, Uh, he fears a lot and that's why he came for homeopathic treatment he told me two things first important thing which he explained over there that whenever i touch my whenever my tongue gets touched to that teeth it always it is always painful and second important thing that is that was an interesting modality that patient used to say that when i draw the air like this this pa- the patient was feeling better that the pains were ameliorated so these are two very typical indications which are covered under the mezerium so mezerium i have never used too much in cases of toothache but in that case specifically i have utilized mezerium in 200 potency three doses and next day i asked the patient to visit next day patient came and patient was too happy that his pain stopped within span of half an hour after getting all three doses and thereafter he was comfortable totally and i followed that patient nearly about a month or two and there were no no there was no more recurrence regarding the toothache so all three cases defines the very clearly about the mezerium so why not to learn the mezerium from allen's keynote so that we can understand the better perspective of the mezerium so let us open the allen's it is a daphne mezerium the thymelaceae is the family for light haired irresolute persons of phlegmatic temperament so generally this is phlegmatic phlegmatic little bit sturdy little bit heavy obese personalities mezerium comes very close to the thuja it is a very close to thuja but in mezerium it is psychosyphilitic thuja is purely psychotic but many features are very close to thuja eczema and itching eruptions after the vaccination yes this is this is characteristic of the mezerium hypochondriacal and despondent so they are always depressed looking like they are suffering from certain disorder indifferent to everything and everyone gets angry on triples and perfectly harmless things but is soon sorry for it so this is this is anger violent followed by a repentance which is there with the mezerium the toothache toothache is characteristic toothache in carious teeth like creoso tooth feels elongated dull pain when biting on them or when touched with tongue aggravated at night and ameliorated with mouth open amelioration and drawing in air the roots are decayed that is the reverse of mercurius so thuja it is roots of teeth are decayed it is like thuja headache violent after slight vexation it is painful on slight touch it is specifically right side the head is covered with thick leather like crust and this is given in bold by allen and this is the modality or this characteristic of the mezerium so thick leather like crust under which thick and white pus collects here and there the hair is glued and matted together pus after time is ichorus becomes offensive and breeds the vermin it looks like vinca minor vinca minor also have the plica polonica mezerium is also having but in mezerium it is infected in 
Vinca minor is comparatively less infected. In mesarium, you have that thick crusts, which are comparatively not there with the Vinca minor. Ulcers with thick yellowish white scabs under which the thick yellow pus collects that already we have discussed. Vesicles appear around the ulcers, each violently burn like fire, like hepar sulfuricum, shining fiery red areola around. And these are the typical eruptions like herpetic eruptions, which you can find it out with the uh, mesarium. Linen or lint sticks to the ulcer. Yes, this, this, this is one more characteristic. Patient comes to you and he wants to show you eruptions and he tries to lift that and then whole eruption, it burns and that scab was stick to his clothes and that is typical of the mesarium. They bleed when it is torn away. The eczema, there is intolerable itching aggravated in bed and from the touch. Copious and serous exudation is always there with the mesarium. Neuralgia, burning pains after the zona. Zona is nothing but the herpes zoster. Bones, especially long bones, inflamed, swollen, nightly pains going from above downwards, from after the abuse of mercury, after venereal diseases, caries, exhaustosis, tumors soften from within out. And that's why it is the syphilitic remedy. So, miasm is psychosyphilitic in case of mesarium. Pain in periosteum of long bones, aggravated at night in bed, least touch, in damp weather, like mercurius and pydolaca. So, these are very typical syphilitic manifestations of the remedy. So, bony pains, neuralgias, pustular septic um, skin affections, typically explaining the syphilitic miasm. Child scratches the face continuously, which is covered with blood. Eruptions are moist. Itching worse at night, inflammatory redness of face. So there are certain times infants you can find it out and they scratches their face, makes a typical uh, rashes over there, red rash that is mesarium. Relationship compare the causticum, guayacum, phytolacca, and restox. All causticum for neuralgias, guayacum for rheumatism, phytolacca for the same rheumatic complaints, restox rheumatic as well as the skin complaint. Aggravation, aggravation by cold air, aggravation by cold washing, aggravation at night, aggravation by touch or motion, bad effects of mercury or alcohol. Epidemics occurring in January and February often calls for mesarium. See, this is very important thing, hint given by their uh, Alan, it is in January and February when there are epidemics of these skin problems generally this remedy plays a vital role so don't forget the mesarium for bony complaints for the skin complaints with the toothache with the neuralgia this remedy is a wonderful remedy whenever it has its own characteristic presentations so that's all for mesarium thank you we'll meet again